Here's an example 9-ball layout from Disc 2 of the Video Encyclopedia of 9-Ball and 10-Ball, or Vent. In this video, I explore all possible options for this shot. Before continuing, study the layout and ask yourself, what would I do here? Here's a diagram of the ball layout so you can clearly see all of the ball positions and angles. How many different ways do you think you could play this shot? 5? 7? 10? Well, I came up with 21 different options. Here they are. Each is numbered with a brief description. In the first shot, I'm pocketing the one on the side to get long side shape on the two. Depending on the exact cue ball position, there are several ways to get the breakout off the two. From here, I can just follow forward with a touch of left English. That's not the best shape on the three, but I do have a shot in the corner. Here, I'm using outside draw to get shape on the short side of the two. Here, I'm hitting a stop shot to set up a cross side bank and breakout. I need outside draw to get the breakout here. Here I'm hitting the 1 into the 3-4 cluster and hiding behind the 2. Sometimes you can hide the cue ball perfectly and just get unlucky. This actually happened twice in a row when I was filming. Obviously, I didn't want to make the one. I do have a shot at the two here, but it's not very easy. Here I'm just setting the one down table and hiding behind the eight. I hope to get ball in hand from here, in which case I have a fairly easy breakout. Here I plan to kiss the 1 off the 9 into the corner, and it's a fairly natural angle. I also left an angle on the 2 so I can possibly get the breakout. Here I'm trying to combo the 1 into the 9. It's a tough shot, but if I make it, I get the win. Here I'm trying to combo the 9 into the other corner, this is an easier shot because there's a possible kiss off the 7 also. Here, I plan to break up the cluster from below with the 1 and hide behind the 8. Because I didn't have much angle here, this shot was very difficult, but I eventually got it to work. I had to use left spin to throw the 1 in to help create enough angle to get behind the 8. Here I'm just hiding the 1 behind the 3-4 cluster and stopping the cue ball to create distance. That's not a very good safety because it's too easy to reply like this. That's a much better safety than the first shot. Here, I'm using a little more speed to break up the cluster a little, but still hide the one. Again, it's too easy to hit a safety reply from here, and a safety battle can ensue. Here I have a chance to really lock up the one and possibly go for three consecutive fouls. Unfortunately, my opponent is pretty good with two rail kicks.
That was a good shot, and my opponent has no reasonable shot at the one, so maybe I do have a chance at the three fouls now. Here, I'm again hotting the one behind the 3-4 with a slight breakout, but also rolling forward to help block kick paths. That was a good shot, because all reasonable kick paths are blocked from here. Here I'm pocketing the one in the corner, and just following forward to break out the cluster. I also managed to leave a decent shot at the 2. Here I'm drawing off the cushion to get shape on the 2 on the long side. Here I'm just drawing to the short side and breaking out the cluster from above. That's not a great leave on the 3, but I do have a natural carom shot. I use soft enough speed to get a shot at the 3 in the side next. Here are two more examples with different leaves after the breakout. Here, I'm drawing off the 1 with a touch of right to get straighter on the 2 to follow forward for the breakout from below. Here, I need running follow to get the line to the breakout. That's not an ideal leave, and I attempt a safety, but I get lucky. I got really lucky, because the runout is easy from here. Here's another attempt with a better breakout result. Here, I'm just breaking up the cluster and using the 7 and 9 as blockers. Here's a similar example. Here, I'm just playing safe without a breakout, with a fairly natural angle equal separation safe. Here's a slightly different version. I don't expect to get ball in hand here, but if I did, I would have a very easy breakout off the 1 into the side. Here, I'm just pocketing the 1 and following forward for shape on the 2. I'm using right follow to throw the 1 in to help create a better angle for the 2 ball shot. This took a little practice to get everything to work well. Here are two more attempts to show that things don't always work out perfectly. After pocketing the 1 and 2 with any of the methods shown previously, here's a low percentage option to continue by pocketing the wired 3-5 kiss combo.
I was lucky to also get shape on the 3 to continue the runout. A final option is just to play safe on the 3 after pocketing the 1 and 2. I'll show a collection of safeties from different cue ball positions. That's a very good result with no reasonable kick paths to the 3. From here, a double bank hide is a good option. From here, it's easy to use the 7 and 9 as blockers. Here, I can go across the table with reverse for the hide. Here, I can draw back to create distance and hide. And here, I can use the natural angle off the 3 to hide the cue ball against the 7-9 cluster. Well, after seeing all of the 21 options, did you change your mind about what might be the best choice for you? Let me know what you think in the video comments section. And if you want to learn more about creative and strategic play and how to make the best choices in 9-Ball and 10-Ball, check out the Vent Instructional DVD series.